I am drawn to the slow erosion of time, the quick energy of a moment. Rock stratum imprinting a story long since told. Flowers dying in a vase on my kitchen table. The fading layers of dreams and memories we leave behind that never fully left their mark on us. The impossible desire to both freeze people and time while knowing moving forward is the only way. I'm trying to understand my heartache about time passing and my fragmented understanding of it. Inspired by a mix of memento mori and alla prima marks of the moment, I'm exploring the energy and joy of the present, the layers and memories of our past, in a reminder that is all fragile and temporary. We are grasses in the field, here one day and gone the next. As J.R.R. Tolkien says so well, all we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. I paint with acrylics, mostly on paper. I do this because it's my favorite form of expression, and I feel that it ties me to my childhood, my innate self-expression. As a kid, paper was widely accessible. It had ties to handwritten notes, letters, the calendar my mom wrote all of our activities on, all the documents of our lives. My mom says that when she would pick me up from school, my teacher would hand her a large stack of paintings and say, Most kids made one, but Addie made a lot. I may not have been a prodigy, but I was certainly prolific. Painting on paper now just seems to be my comfort place. It reminds me of the handwritten letters my grandmother wrote to me. My grandma Stickle wrote me notes all through college, and I still have them. They mean the world to me. When I mentioned I was having a hard time reading her cursive, she changed to printing for me. It also reminds me of quickly working through ideas as a child and now. Painting and painting, always on to the next idea, trying something new. I like to capture a moment quickly. My brushstrokes are quick and layered over the paint, sometimes over wet paint, sometimes over dry paint, depending on the effect that I'm looking for. I have very carefully chosen the colors for this series. Inspired by the color palettes of my grandparents' homes, I have light blues, light greens, and light pinks. The scribbly handwriting you'll see on some of the pieces are actually me taking away wet paint over dry paint. These are references to the letters my grandparents have written to me over the years. The layers over the flower imagery speak to the layers of the houses go through over time. New paint colors, new wallpaper, or just covering up old wallpaper that stubbornly won't come off. All of these characteristics speak to the passing of time, home, and a specific place. The show, Wallpaper, stems from how deeply nostalgic I am about places. I cried for a day when my parents finally moved out of their home I grew up in. I cried again this winter when I spent the last Christmas at my grandmother's home in Idaho that my grandfather built for her before she sold it. I soaked in every last moment there, thinking about loss, new life. I cradled my six-month-old baby and watched the snow. I noticed all of the woodwork, all of the wallpaper, and all of the colors and details I had known my whole life. I think back to the home of my great-grandmother, canning jars still in her kitchen at 96, visiting with my grandmother and remembering greens from her garden, from her house. I've been lucky to have these warm memories in warm places with warm people. I know that many are not as lucky. When I got married, I gained more wonderful grandparents. Grandma DeLong is currently losing her memory. And it's been very hard to see such a strong, independent woman forget to take care of herself and ask us the same questions again and again. My heart breaks that she cannot remember the things she longs to. How much Harper weighed at birth, holding her as a newborn, playing with her as a toddler even now. This exhibit is for my grandparents, for my lineage. For my husband's grandparents, who have become my grandparents as well, and our children's great-grandparents. Tough women and men of a different generation, decorating their homes in soft pinks, light colors, and flowers. It's interesting to me that colors can take us back to a specific time, place, or memory. The influence of every one of our grandparents in our lives is deep, whether I have known them my whole life or since marriage. I've started my own family now. I have a one-year-old and another on the way. I like to think about what kinds of things they will remember and associate with home. What colors, what textures, what will be on our walls. 
what kinds of things will they associate with their childhood home, with all of their wonderful grandparents' homes. Being an artist and creating different bodies of work is how I process my emotions and my connection to others. I'm overjoyed when I see a body of work go from my mind and heart to reality. It means so much to then have others connect with that work in their own ways, drive their own meanings, and feel like I've brought some emotion or meaning to life for them. I hope that as you experience this show, you're taken to memories of your own, places and people you remember fondly. If it brings up loss for you, I hope you know you're not alone. And all we can do is be with our loved ones while they're here and remember the times we have together when they are gone.